What's good fam? Welcome to another tutorial, uh, class number two of introduction to Adobe Illustrator. So yeah, finally now we can dive into the fun stuff doing the cartoons. But uh, I think I'm gonna make this a two part uh, video so that uh, I can you know, make uh, a longer video a, a more detailed video so that the video could be more detailed and yeah first thing uh let's let's increase the the size of our reference hold shift hold shift when you increase the size so that it increases proportionally when you don't hold shift you'll find that one only one side increases so yeah, when you hold shift, the whole thing just expands, you know, the whole size of the thing. And next thing, make sure that you choose a high quality picture so that when you zoom, it doesn't pixelate here. You still have the, the details of the, the, the face and everything. Uh, then let's decrease the opacity. The reason why we are decreasing the opacity is so that uh, we can have uh, we can have uh, a full a clear view of the lines that we are gonna be making on top of the reference, and the shades they can be more visible. As you can see, this side we have shades here. Don't worry about those things. I'll cover. I will more into them as we progress with the lessons and let's lock our layer this is the reference layer we don't do anything in the reference layer uh, we'll just create a new layer on top of it if you follow the uh, uh the previous lesson uh, we, we created brushes yesterday well yeah on the previous lesson excuse me we created uh, the brushes so to retain them we just go to the brush layer libraries then self-define then i label mine brush one so i'm gonna retain it from here if you miss this thing i'll just attach it to the to the end of the at the end of the video and i'll make a card somewhere here so that you can see uh, how to create your own brush so let me zoom so that you can see how the brush goes you see the the brush has this nice ends compared to just a regular brush that is just you know what i mean so let's go back into our brush we just selected them into our activities here everything you want to see check it here and let's get into the drawing first i'd like to start uh, by the by the nose so zoom in don't be afraid to zoom just zoom in as much as you can so that you have a clear view of what you are tracing here uh, i think i'm gonna make this a two two part video because like i said i want to 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 stack a lot of information as you can see this picture i chose here it has a, a it has hair so i'm gonna Go into detail how to make hair and everything you know i'm not gonna uh, overlook anything i want you guys to be equipped when you make those cartoons and don't forget to share don't forget to share with me what you guys did the pictures that you chose and the the results that you got uh, let's do this yeah, every line that you see, you're gonna trace it here. There's nothing we're gonna leave behind. There's nothing we're gonna leave behind. This one, I'm gonna cover it with the fill. Right now, we're just doing this outline, the strokes. Mm, okay, let's smooth this thing out. Uh, it's just making some bumpy lines. So, I'm gonna reset it then, move it up to smooth and then 
Okay. Just, uh, if, if you can notice this, my stroke is at 1. So, I would recommend that you keep yours at 1. Also, you're going to be changing it as you move along our cartoon. Uh, the lips and everything. This thing is, I'm going to just show you guys. But uh, as you know, it will get much better when you, you practice. You just keep on practicing. the upper and lower look okay. now just me if uh, your lines overlap don't worry just continue with your artwork I'll show you guys how to take the as you progress then Don't be afraid to zoom, zoom so that uh, you can trace the things smoothly. Uh, I made this overlap on purpose. Check, check, check if there are any spaces between your lines. If there are spaces between your lines, then when you, you, you come to the shading part, um, the color is not gonna be contained uh, in the in the lines. You know. <clears throat> When you add, we add the color for the lips and the the teeth is gonna be just one color if you don't make sure that you close the lines. I made this uh as I was saying I made this on purpose so that I can make the this part of the lip. What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna reduce the size again to of the stroke to uh, let's see. Okay, I think the point seven five will do, and then I can make this. Yeah, yeah. My my mic is just it's right in front of me, so check check if things are going your way. As you can see, I think so far. I like it, I like the way it's coming. Uh, something is materializing here. And then I think still on 0 0.75. Let's make this here. And then now we can switch to Y again. You don't have to make uh, the detail for everything in the face, you know, just make the uh, the, the the parts that you feel have to be emphasized you know what i mean and zoom in for the eyes and then so yeah. control z if you want to undo you press control z it's a shortcut that i like to use or you can come to is it edit yeah edit then undo then redo you know but uh, control Z is a common shortcut that's being used across uh, a lot of softwares. You'll find it in Photoshop, Wade, Blender, you know, just a lot of softwares use this shortcut. Make sure that there's no space between the lines. Don't worry about this overlapping this. I'll fix them. And Control Z. Yeah. Yeah. Control Z. Control Z. Control Z. Yeah, I think now it's fine. 
and don't be in a rush to finish your artwork just take your time uh, try to make it spend try to make it actually how you want it to be and this thing here make sure that it looks control left close there's no space between right keep this like space and the other side And then reduce the size of our stroke to um, 0.75 and then the 0.75 you are going to make in the strokes for, for the top of the eye so okay control and then uh, i think the, that will do uh, This yeah. the, the this one is try it, it shows uh way like you said you can see the side here's where the, the the eyeball ends so it just reflects where the eyeball ends and these are the, the, the wrinkles that are on top of the eye and then we move to the other side still on 0 0.75 Still on 0 0.75. We do the other side. Wrinkle one. Wrinkle one. And then this one. Let's do with the eyeball. And then this side. It's happening to me. Fine. But this one, this side, I don't think is 0 0.75. Let's check. This is 0 0.4. 0 0.75. 0 0.75. And then reduce the size to 0 0.5. Then do the lower part of the eye. I think one will do. And this side, one will do. Yeah. And then let's check progress. Yeah, and then it's coming out nice. I uh, hope you guys are also having a good time and things are going away so far. This is just doing the outline, so I don't expect you guys to have much difficulties. I'm just following the, the lines. Yeah, that one I just picked up. It's not in there. But in most pictures, you will find that there are some lines that show where the, the mouth uh, shows the smile you know I don't know what I mean but yeah I hope it makes sense to you guys and then now you can increase our stroke to something like two for the for the outlines now we are going outside and uh, move it yeah this way here's the beard so yeah in here good and also the side the beard is equally and 
zoom and then it will go out yeah i think this we are done with the i think we are done with using the stroke now we can jump into using the fill i'm gonna fill checking okay make sure it's on zero everything is on zero right okay and it's black and uh choose the pencil to shortcut it's n now we can feel i'll come back for the massaging everything using the um i finish i mean eyebrows and then okay. we're just feeling So for now, let's make it just black, everything black. Let's make it just fill it in a black color. As she can move away on those advanced levels, so then jump into making them uh, colorful. I'll show you guys, don't worry. I'm gonna give you a technique, you guys, step by step. So, why is it my, why is my, I don't know I don't know what's not responding. I'm using the mouse now, so my pen is open. So, let's check. So slow. Uh, I've been using it the whole day. Now I think I've used most of the memory. Now it's just going to slow. God help me buy a better PC. And wow, it's slow. Excuse me, guys, for that. Okay, okay. Okay, something is materializing there. And then uh what should we do first? The hair or the eyes with the uh eyelashes. Okay, let's do this part first. Since he's uh the 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 what are they called? Eyelids or eyelashes? Hmm. Since the eyelashes of this picture here are not visible, oh god. Oh god. I hope now some of you guys will understand why I've been delayed making the 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 cartoon the, the tutorials because wow i'm having a hard time operating with this pc and it's not easy not easy using it okay when i started doing the 
Thank you for tossing the cartoons back in 2019. In the first 2019. Yeah, even though I started the, the channel two years later, I started learning back in 2019. I was using uh, She World, one of the is the gold of using or doing these cartoons. I learned a lot of him from him even to today, even this day I'm still learning from him. That guy makes some really dope stuff. Check him out. Uh she will. I think I have uh tagged his channel on my channel because I subscribe to his channel. So his channel is tagged okay now to the when doing the the the, the, the eyebrows let me turn this off now when doing the eyebrows the the part that's darker like for example this part is the part that you're gonna use the fill on you know you're gonna use the fill here to cover this part and then later on we're gonna be using the strokes and everything to to make uh, the the small parts of the eyelash, or eyebrows, or whatever they are called, you know. So we're gonna leave it like that for now, and then and then let's move to the other side. This side is easier because the whole part is dark, so you have an excuse to make it dark. Now, then okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Let's check how things are progressing. Okay, that's nice. That's nice. I hope you guys are following along. I didn't leave you guys behind. If you have any question, don't hesitate to leave a comment below. Now check out my socials. And when you sign when you send your 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 your, your cartoons please send them via email because uh social when you send them through social networks they they can to they can they have this thing also reducing the quality you know they reduce the quality of the artwork and then when i open it this side it's not gonna be as dope as it would have been when you send your email i know you guys made some dope stuff which i can't wait to see what i'm doing here i'm making the beard so here's the trick to, to making the beard uh let me turn this off uh, you can see that uh here at the end where the 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 the, the dark part the what the part where the most hair is on the beard it ends somewhere here so what you do you just follow along this part you, you can even make it just uh let me, let me create another layer you can just decide to make it just a line like this if you are having trouble doing, you can just make a line like this what you have to do is just cover the pack where the most beard is you know the go to beard you know <clears throat> and then uh after that you can make your your zigzags so that it becomes easier when you add the strokes later on see simple and below still the same thing i hope uh everyone is holding along control z i'm gonna delete that because i've already made this one here and Yeah, that that that, that uh, what's what's happening? Let's, uh, okay. Let's check out this progressing. Oh, damn! That's dope. That's dope. You can see that uh, his face is coming out nice, coming out nice. Even though we haven't added much of the details, we haven't done the coloring and stuff. Most people believe that you know, get that's the result when you start coloring even before you start coloring you can get something nice you know and then 
let's select oh as you can see my 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 pencil is that has this sample that's cancelled out it shows that i can do anything i have selected the the room layer for this to stop happening i have to select the layer that i'm working on that's because i love the, the reference layer so that no matter what happens i can never work on the reference layer you know but that's helpful make sure that you like your reference layer and then now you can dive into doing the hair you can just make a line like i said let's make a line let's make a line let's make a line okay then now the zigzags to show that there's the hair you know it makes it simpler when when doing the strokes later on as you just follow along the zigzags and then boom that side the side I hope you choose a simple picture to work with don't forget to send whatever you do on my email To save some time you can just move oh okay okay sorry sorry for that i realized that the side you're gonna feel the darkest part you know uh feel the darkest part then the parts that are more lighter you're gonna skip them so that when you come to the oh maybe not, not to make things simpler for you guys let's just shade everything down Let's just shade everything. Let's just shade everything. I don't want to confuse you guys. Let's just shade everything. Let's just shade everything dark. I don't want to confuse some of the beginners. You may feel that uh, I'm holding back, but uh, I'm trying to cater for those who are absolute beginners, you know. Uh, it's okay if you go an extra mile, you know, show some skills off and everything. Let's see, okay, the side is dope. The side is dope. Now let's move to the other side. And the pencil. And then let's fill. We just follow a line up to the, the thread locks. And this is the first cartoon that we'll be making together so i'm gonna make it simple as possible the first time then we're gonna do redo it this time the second time we're gonna redo it we're gonna make sure that we go all out you know the first time we're gonna do it we're gonna go simple and then redo the picture that you are doing and now go in here Right now, I'm gonna try and grab the basics. Word of advice when uh, you're doing just the, the, the head and you see some red 
some of the hair going this way like just just draw this way out on its own no just ignore it and focus on the ones that are surrounding the hair because that's gonna cause a lot of confusion just everything out This part, ah, uh, didn't trace me. Let me move a bit deeper. This way. Maybe this way. And then let's go deeper. I hope I'm making everything indicated. Okay, okay. I have chose to use my mouse now because uh, my tablet is acting up. I don't know what's wrong with it. I don't know if the the, the, the leads uh, I have have expired or what, you know. But I hope next time it'll be fine. And then we just make a line, a straight line, and then. Control zero to zero and uh, zero even here so that I can excuse me. You can move my ear and go over. Or you just you can just choose to close everything up so that it doesn't stress you out okay or for those who are willing to use the same picture that i'm using if you want to use the same picture that i'm using i'm gonna try and uh, just request it just request it on my my socials and drop your, your your email so that i can send it directly to your email or if you don't mind i can just send it through the socials but as i said before the part is not gonna be the same see what we did here and uh i think we need this tattoo then we drop this thing out for today the pin brush too and then trying to follow along trying to follow along increase the size oh wait it's not about this combo how many minutes did I use to oh bad I took longer than I thought I would but that's okay as long as I'm helping you guys And let us look in this way. 
and there you have it uh, the first cartoon we have made together yeah it's pretty much basic you know it doesn't have anything oh i forgot to to do the mustache make the uh increase the stroke to something like uh yeah. 0 0.5 and then just just for just make some curvy lines curvy lines curvy lines don't make them far apart from each other okay and then this side I thought I was gonna make this a two part video but it seems like I made it into just a one part video but uh, I think it's worth it after this you select everything select everything on your artboard expand the appearance if you use some shapes some shapes the shapes i mean like some ellipse tool rectangle tool pen tool if you use you know books in your, in your artwork make sure that after expanding your appearance then expand now then click ok and then properties and then finally can merge yeah that's pretty much what i wanted to cover today and uh let's let's continue this on the second part uh, another video where i will be showing you guys how i choose my colors and then we can do the shading together basics you're sticking to the basics you're not gonna make anything complicated and then the next time we redo our art our our artworks then now we can level up the scale you know introduce some new things and everything and hopefully my machine and my pen my tablet won't be acting up like they are today thank you for tuning in i love you guys share this with uh friends and introduce some people to the to the family let's grow together uh yeah see you guys soon